Hey y'all. Today we're going to be talking about my Nordstrom anniversary sale acquisition of some Jo Malone items, specifically the um, ladies cologne collection. So if you'd like to hear more about that, please stick around. everybody welcome back to my channel if you're new here my channel is all about treating yourself to a little bit of luxury whether that be a luxury fragrance some luxury candles your handbags skincare your just your cup of coffee whatever makes you feel a little bit better about yourself because you deserve it um so yeah this is just one um maybe my last item I might be waiting for one more, but I can't remember now. Um, the last uh, fragrance set I got from the Nordstrom Anniversary Sale, I'm going to put it right here. Um, it did come with a couple of gift with purchases. Um, I bought some other items as well. So when it added up to, I think, to $150, um, this is where these popped in. But little makeup case, cute little um, lining. And then it came with a Mir and Tonka Cologne Intense sample which we won't try out today and then a peony and blush suede which i believe is in that set so I'll put that down and then this cute little baggie which is really really cute and that came with a wood sage and sea salt cologne which might also be in that set and then get in here a lime basil mandarin body and hand wash gel sample that's so cute this is a really good assortment of things i'm not going to undo the little go uh wood sage and sea salt body cream there's one more thing in here and then a poppy and barley cologne so that's a lot of stuff stuff that came with this one wow quite the extra bonuses i really love nordstrom's they do really great um gifts with purchases especially during the anniversary sale so last year i got some really great um dior bonuses i think i got a tom ford mascara with the set i bought um really nice so we'll try those out another day but today this set it is a set of five yes five and cute little ribbon on there it's going to have um english pear and freesia nectarine blossom and honey peony and blush suede yep um mimosa and cardamom and wood sage and sea salt so yeah, got two of them over there. So I've got backups. That's cool. Okay, slip it out of here. So on it, the little sleeve, really cute packaging. And then they come nicely boxed. So what I'm gonna do is this is gonna be just a really quick um, my first impressions on them. I know there's other reviews out there, and these aren't these are not new fragrances. But what drew me to them was I've done their candles, um, this brand's candles, and I really did enjoy the scents. And um, I'm hoping this kind of fills the niche that Artea Cologne has left in my heart um, because the names do seem to be very much um, centered on specific notes that might be um, a similar type of um, direction that they go similar to Atea Cologne. Um, so I am intrigued to see how they go. So let's try them out. Let's start with Wood Sage and Sea Salt. Hi, Boo Bear. You wanna try some perfumes, Bubba? Wanna smell good? Oh, I can't see anything on there. <laughs> we just got back from the dog park a little while ago, so he's a... Uh, Freshly exercised and very much smelling of the ground. Oh my god. These are tight. There we go. Wood sage and sea salt. And then like I think I mentioned the um you use these little cotton rounds to test my fragrances.
and I'll pop up the notes. Hmm, that's a very fresh, fresh and clean. I like that. It's not, I don't have anything like this in my collection, but the, the vibes it's giving me, it's like what I would wear whenever I want to um, kind of have that refreshing spa clean day. I grab um, Cactus Garden from Louis Vuitton and I'd probably grab this whenever I'm feeling in that mood. So I like that. That's, that's a really good scent. Let's go up to Mandarin. No, sorry, Mimosa and Cardamom. Let's see. That is not what I was expecting at all. I know what cardamom smells like. I'm not smelling cardamom at all. I can, it, I, it's just a really kind of, um, light floral, but it's just a floral. I just don't, I don't see myself grabbing this. It reminds me of like the whispers line. So a nice light springy floral, but I can't see, I would never repurchase this. This is definitely not, not up my alley. Right. So, um, peony and blush suede. I can almost guarantee that this one I'm not going to like just by the name, but hopefully I'll be pleasantly surprised. Grab another round. Well, you know what? Uh, from there, it's actually not bad. It smells really sweet. Oh, I like this. Okay, this I'm totally pleasantly <laughs> surprised. It's sweet. I mean, I get the peony, that blush suede um, note, whatever that is. It does. It reminds me a lot of one of the trends. I want to say it's either. Um, Bo Peep or um, the one with the uh, sunglasses. Now I'm completely blanking on that number. I think it's eight. Yeah, no, I like this. I would totally repurchase that. I would buy this in a candle. I want my house to smell like this. I like, I like that a lot. Nice. I totally did not think I would love that. That is, that is odd. So I think these two were the ones I'm thinking would be my favorite. So English Pear and Freesia and Nectarine Blossom and Honey. And that's, I'm going with Nectarine Blossom first. Um, because I'm, I'm more of a gourmand, sweet um, scent kind of person. So I have a feeling these are the ones that are going to be up my alley. But I bet you I'll, I'll hate it. <laughs> it will be the with sage and sea salt and, and uh, the blush suede one that I'm like, those are the best. No, I like this. It's not, it's not like overly sweet. It's nice though. It's like a, a very fresh gourmand. So not something to just like, you feel like you're dri considering it has honey. I guess it's that nectarine that's calming it down. I'm, that's nice. That's another one I would love to have in all the, the, um, houseware scents. Oh, wow. So that's really nice. So pleasantly surprised. Does not smell like I thought, but I like it. Last and not least, English pear and freesia. I'm a little scared of the freesia, to be honest with you. Um, yeah, the floral. We'll see. It's 
not really getting the pear. I was really hoping for that sweetness, you know, crisp. All I really smell is the freesia. It's not bad. I guess there I'm getting a little bit of that tart pear. Yeah. Yeah, that's so sad. I'm kind of, I mean, I'm disappointed. I thought that for sure would be one I would like. Hmm. Okay. Well, that is what it is. Now, remind me, I got wood sage and sea salt over here. Did I get a lime basil and mandarin? Because I think that's one poppy and barley. No, I got it. I got a soap. Let's see if I can smell the soap. Because so I'm really intrigued by the lime basil and mandarin. I kind of kind of want that. So let me see. Bonus, bonus scent. Oh, it's kind of sealed. Oh no, that's interesting. Yeah. Okay. To pick up a sampler of of that. So that's my um quick first impressions of this set. So I have to say, I definitely will pick up Nectarine Blossom and Honey. The Peony and Blush Suede, very pleasantly surprised. I like the Wood Sage and Sea Salt. I'm glad I have an extra of that. It's like I said, on those spa days when I just want that cl a clean, crisp scent, it would be a great one to just kind of pop on and and have so that's really exciting so cool well thanks for joining me on my quick little run through of joe malone trying them out and i can't wait to add a few more to my collection